Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. We have another prediction video for this game week in the Premier League. Now game week 34 is a big game week. It's a double game week. So we've got matches on Saturday, Sunday, and then there's also a match on Monday and then Tuesday and Wednesday, I think. So what we're gonna do is we'll do it in two parts. So obviously this is part one. So we're gonna go through Saturday and Sunday. And then early next week, we'll release part two and we'll go through the rest of the games. Now last week's Akka, you know, we played it very safe. <laughs> And all the uh, all the predictions on Saturday did come in. I think it was five selections. They all won. And then Sunday we had three selections, and they all they all crashed. <laughs> they all crashed. But su Saturday was a good day. But unfortunately, Sunday. So in this video, we've got three games on Saturday. We'll go for each of them. I'll give you the odds on them three selections if you wanted to put them three together for Saturday. And then we'll do the same for Sunday. I'll let you know the odds if you just go for the Sunday. And of course. We'll put all the selections for Saturday and Sunday into one big bet and we'll see what odds um, that gives us. Now, remember I say in every video, my pre I don't do any pre-match bets as serious bets. Like for this, I'll do the one big acker and just put a 10 on it. But my serious bets, they're a much bigger stake and they're all in play. But I do drop some free in-play tips inside my free Telegram channel. So if you want to join that and get some free tips, the link is below. Right, so let's go through all the games on Saturday. We start with Luton versus Brentford. Luton's last six games at home have all ended with both teams scoring. Brentford's last four away games have all ended with both teams scoring. And when they played each other earlier in the year, it ended 3-1 to Brentford. So again, both teams scored. So we are going with both teams to score and the odds are 1.47. Next up, we have Sheffield versus Burnley. Massive, massive game. Relegation battle down at the bottom of the table. Both teams are still in very bad form, though Sheffield did get a draw against Chelsea. 2-2, good result. Sheffield have conceded over one and a half goals in 10 out of the last 12 home games. Uh, Burnley also beat Sheffield earlier in the season 5-0. So we are going with Burnley to score two or more goals and the odds are 2.1. Now the last game on Saturday is Wolves versus Arsenal. Wolves, bad bad period for them at the moment. No wins in five. Arsenal are on the ropes, not looking great. You know, they dropped points to Villa at home. Uh, they also got knocked out of the Champions League. So yeah, it's been rough for them. They cannot drop any more points if they want to win this title you know they've they have to win this they've got no option draw is not good enough um for them to win the odds are really really low so we're just going to go with arsenal to score two or more goals and the odds are 1.4 so if you wanted to put these three selections together in one bet it's up to you the odds come back at 4.32 so if you put 10 pound on you would get 43 pound back now on to Sunday. So Sunday we start with Everton versus Forest. Again, another massive game at the bottom end of the table. I think Forest have started to play better the past few weeks. You know, they're doing okay. Just one loss in five games, a few draws, but they seem to be playing better. Everton beat Burnley 1-0 recently, but then after that they got thrashed 6-0 to Chelsea. So, you know, it's going to be a close game, but I do like how Forest are playing recently. They do look better so we are going with double chance either a draw or for us to win and the odds are 1.73 next we have aston villa versus bournemouth both teams are in great form they're both doing very well although bournemouth did lose their last away game away to luton and they lost that 2-1 villa just three points above spurs it's very close spurs do have one game in hand so you know this is a must win game for them especially being at home although bournemouth are doing very well I can see Villa grabbing the win here, and the odds are 1.87. Next up, we have Crystal Palace versus West Ham. When these two meet, we do see lots of goals. Five out of the last six head-to-heads have all ended with over two and a half goals, and all six of them have ended with both teams scoring, and I can see the same happening here. So we are going with both teams to score, and the odds are 1.6. Next up, we have Fulham versus Liverpool. Not the greatest weeks for Liverpool. You know, losing at home to Palace then crashing out of the Europa League. They've got to get back on track. They've only got the league to focus on now. And I do think they win this one and the odds are 1.53. So if you decide to put these four selections just for Sunday together, you will get odds of 7.92. So if you put £10 on it, you will get about £79 back. However, if you're a bit of a nutter like me and you just want to do some crazy yakka with high odds, you can put all the selections from both Saturday and Sunday together 
and you will get odds of 34.25. So if you put £10 on all seven games, you will get just over £340 back. Now let me know in the comments below what you think of these choices and do you have your eyes on any other bets over the weekend. And remember guys, if you want any free in-play tips, which are my serious tips, then the link is below to join the free Telegram. So make sure you get in there if you're not in there already. And don't forget part two of this video will come out on either Monday or Tuesday. There is one game on Tuesday night. So <laughs> make sure you hit the notifications button. So as soon as the video comes out, you can watch it and you can see my prediction for that match. And that's it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like and thanks for watching. Good luck with all your bets. Smash the boogies. Peace.